everybody, what's going on? Nathan343 here. That's right, we've got a new package here from Sheds Lighting. Our good friends over there at Sheds Lighting, and I am super, super pumped to show you what's in this. And let's just say things might get a little wet around here in the process of making this video. So stay tuned, and after these messages, we'll dive into this. Let's go, let's get it. Possible by 343 Studios. Alright, we are here and we've got this box. I went ahead and did the uh, good stuff of taking the label off so if we don't get addresses all seen here, even though I know you guys want to meet me. I do have events throughout the year that I'm at. You guys can come and talk to me and meet me and all that stuff. So, we're going to go ahead and crack this dude open. Gonna be keeping the box because unfortunately my grandma just had to have surgery and she fell and broke her leg at her assisted living home and has to go to a nursing home so seems to be bigger than uh, what we thought but uh, anyway so we're having to move her out of her house and into another place pose a mess but anyway all right so on top we get a piece of styrofoam these are good to keep because this is that good styrofoam you can make you know, you could make uh, cases and stuff. Yeah, it's a lot bigger than I thought it was. So we get the manual. Very good to have the manual. I keep these all in a Ziploc baggie uh, in my file cabinet so that if I ever need them, they're right there. Every single one of them. All right, so here we have a DMX cable. Open this up. This is one of the, no, that ain't a DMX cable. Yes, it is. It's, okay, this is a waterproof cable. Waterproof DMX cable. So, yeah, okay. We have, we have some other stuff in here. And of course, we got to make sure there's nothing underneath this piece. Okay, all right, so we have, now I would be doing an above shot, but process of doing some stuff, so that is not available at the moment. <laughs> but it will be soon, because we're gonna be building some stuff. All right. So on the bottom is where you will find all your harness cable. Oh no. Um. So you see we have two lasers going here. On the bottom we have the 3 watt and on the top we have the 1 watt the shed sent to me a few months ago, uh, so maybe even close to a year ago. But just so you can see you can mix and match different lasers with different wattages to get really cool effects and uh, it looks really cool. Uh, the beam patterns are a little different and the obviously the animations and designs are a little different so it makes for a great show.
Always remember guys, don't shine your lasers into people's eyes. You can shine them on the floor way in front of you. You could do it up on the ceiling, the walls, above their heads. But as you can see above their heads would look pretty cool on this. You get the cool uh, effects going up above someone's head. Uh, just, you know, you don't want to blind someone and these can cause problems to a lot of different things. Cameras, if you, if you let the laser hit the lens long enough, it will affect your camera. So just to keep an eye on that. But these are really great lasers. I really like them. I definitely think I'll be getting another one. Uh, we do test out the waterproof here in just a little bit. So stay tuned if you're interested in how much waterproof it is. But uh, it's small, compact, tiny. Uh, it does weigh a little bit. And uh, it's very nice. I, I like it. I think it's very cool. And the, the brightness, it's very bright. Uh, I think it will cut through a lot of other lights too. bracket the bracket does go all the way around so you can top mount this if you want it has a cover on the back but there's not actually anything in there this is the bottom of it as you can see let's go ahead and plug it in and I'll show you what the the uh, uh, screen shows so basically everything I'm gonna set this down here so I can show you everything works off of basically a you know, the auto, the music mode, the DMX mode, you just turn this little knob here and it makes it do whatever you want. Of course, the video picture is upside down, but it does work. So we just have it in an auto mode, I believe. There is a functions, the show, the playing setup. Uh, it is got a lot of stuff in it. Um, again, you can check out the uh, deal. It's all different kinds of stuff in the user manual so it's in an auto show so uh, let me show you a couple of the features and the, sh the settings it has well, I have it set to run through pretty much everything all the shows everything that it can now I'm gonna say that I'm not 100% sure if this thing is waterproof due to the fact that it has no really gaskets inside of it. I mean, I wouldn't want to get it wet. And I'll show you, uh, because I, I've taken this apart to be able to fix that plug. And it, um, it didn't have any sort of weather protectant, weather sealant in it whatsoever. So there was no gaskets, no silicone, no nothing, but you can see it in there working. It's doing a great job. I will be using this at the prom coming up, which is two weeks from Saturday. Well, it's a week from Saturday, the 25th. So you'll be seeing a DJ gig log finally of 2023 coming out on the unforgettable prom. We got some awesome stuff we're doing there. We got more trusting already. We've got awesome new stuff there. So stay tuned to DJ Fire if you want to check that gig log out and how all these lights look together. 
So yeah, it's a pretty cool light. I like it. And I'm kind of excited to see what it'll do if you mix two of them together. Another thing I'll show you here is that this little piece right here, if you take these screws out, this little stand comes off. So if you don't want the stand on there, you can take it off. But it does have DMX. I have them hooked together. Um, I, they're just, I mean, there's just no way that I think this would be waterproof just because, I mean, I'm gonna get it wet here and show you that it's waterproof, but well, we'll see if it's waterproof anyway. So let's go take it in the shower because it's super cold outside and I don't wanna go outside. So let's go see what it does and then we'll plug it back in and it's still working. All right, so we have this in the, in the shower. Because it's, I do have version cold water, but getting wet. Doesn't seem to have any problems. I can't plug it in because I don't have any plugins around here. But it looks like it's and working. guys, well, there you have it. It is still working. Still going. So I guess it is waterproof. There is just a little bit of water residue on the bottom. Most of it just runs right off. It doesn't really go inside of it. So, We'll just kind of keep an eye on it. I don't plan on using this outside. I mean, maybe it's not gonna be good to submerge it for sure, but a few little rain showers or water spots that hit it, that hit it I think it's gonna be just fine. So there you have it guys, the shed's waterproof uh, laser. This is a three watt laser. Um, we did mix it with the one watt laser, uh, as you've seen there in the video, to kind of show what it would look like. So if you have different wattage lasers, they will look cool together. I will be more likely running this thing on my truss, just like this, on the top. The higher up it is, the better it's going to be to me. So, again, um, if you have any problems with the power plug, they send you the wrong plug by accident. It, it happens. I'm sure they just didn't have it labeled right. You can cut the wires, and you can wire up your own household plug. Now, this plug is not waterproof. You can get waterproof, so this part's not waterproof. But you can buy different things to put over these make them waterproof. So again, check it out. Waterproof laser, three watt from Sheds. See you in the next one. Hey!